Hello and welcome. This Blue Beauty is a 2006 Specialized Dolce Elite. A friend gave me this bike since she recently upgraded to an Orbea. Now, I'm not jealous of the Orbea by the way. Well, okay, maybe a little. Or a lot. But even so, I am super grateful for this gift. This bike is in really good condition. Other than a couple of tiny scratches, the two-tone blue paint is in great shape and it's in fantastic shape mechanically. Here's the thing. The Dolce is a women's bike and not just because the former owner is a woman. Women's bikes, typically with shorter top tubes and taller head tubes, have been around on the mass market since, so oh, what, the early 2000s or so? They ostensibly were designed for a perceived difference in average arm and leg measurements between men and women. Obviously, I only have myself to go by, so I'm clearly no authority on that matter. As well as dedicated frames, contact points including saddles, stems, and handlebars were designed to accommodate wider hips, shorter torsos, and narrower shoulders. Based upon what I have recently read online, most of the big companies have moved away from this and back to so-called unisex bikes. For example, the Dolce is not currently offered on the specialized website. Of course, companies like Liv are still dedicated to women, and others like Canyon maintain a women's line as I understand it, and I feel that's a good thing. It's always nice to have options. Somewhat interestingly, my friend was running Shimano SPD clipless mountain bike pedals. Hey, whatever works, right? The only actual repair I had to make was replacing a frayed rear derailleur inner cable. And gosh, you know, that took less than 10 minutes since I did not have to replace the outer cable too. I did install a set of temporary flat pedals though. Oh, and this is one of my helpers, Selena. Okay, not a helper so much as an entertainer and dust mop. The 51 centimeter frame set is basically the same as a Roubaix except for details like the reach and handlebar width from information that I found online. Interestingly, the standover and reach are not a lot different than my 54 centimeter 2017 Nishiki Maricopa. Obviously this is owing to the frame shape and design. The seat post is a specialized carbon fiber unit 27.2 millimeters in diameter. I installed a temporary saddle because the original had a couple of tears which I may or may not be able to repair. The dimension stem is 75 millimeters long in which is mounted a specialized alloy 40 centimeter wide handlebar with short drops. Oddly, the handlebar needs a shim to fit the 31.8 millimeter stem clamp. The bike also has an FSA headset. The brakes front and rear a dual pivot Shimano 105s. The fork is carbon fiber with polymer vibration damping inserts which specialized called Zerts. I kid you not, that's what they called them. The drivetrain is a 2x9 setup. The stock setup was Shimano 105 3x9, but my friend swapped in a Sora 2x crank set and upgraded to Shimano Altegra derailers front and rear. The cassette is a Shimano 12 to 25 tooth 9 speed. Now I added a set of temporary flat pedals since it had the Shimano SPD pedals and I don't have compatible shoes. Also the chain is a little bit worn so I'll replace it just on principle. The wheels, front and rear, 
are Alex ALX 295s with Alex A Class hubs. The mismatching tires are both 700C by 25mm. And these are definitely on the short list for replacement. Now, as I said, the Dolce is designed as a woman's bike. Clearly, I am not a woman. But as far as I am concerned, that makes no difference with regard to the bike. It's a good bike with nice specs, and I'm looking forward to a lot of miles on it. Now, after riding it, it does feel like the reach is a bit short and low. I have a spare 90 millimeter stem with 17 millimeters of rise and a set of wider 44 centimeter handlebars. With those, my spare Sella San Marco carbon fiber saddle, a new set of look clipless pedals, and some new tires, this bike should suit me just fine. Now, I actually think this is going to be a lot of fun to ride. Now, if only spring would hurry up and get here. There was a link below left to the Maricopa, which I mentioned earlier. And there's a link below right to another video that I think you'll like. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate that. Goodbye and have a great day.